Hello grade 12 students and welcome to a new technical English 3 lesson. Our lesson today is unit 7 lesson 3 part 1 progress 1 course book page 56. Please open your course book and let's start our lesson. Let's start as usual with the objectives of today's lesson. After studying this lesson you will be able to compare two types of fingerprint scanners locate specific information after reading a text to complete four sentences correctly and locate specific information after listening to a progress report to complete a checklist our starter is a video you have to watch the following video and answer the question what is the question in front of you can you read it what happens when you first time set the lock on a mobile phone are you ready to watch the video and to find the answer let's watch the video techno mum's tech line with support from the institution of engineering and technology i've got a call hello you're through to techno mum's tech line what's your techno question dad's mobile phone has a fingerprint scanner to lock and unlock the screen how does the scanner know it's his Ooh, great question you see fingerprint scanners on lots of devices these days including mobile phones secret codes are a great way to keep things private and safe as you'll know if you've got a combination lock on your diary or bike human beings are lucky because every single person alive has their own totally unique secret code on their fingers and thumbs on each finger pad you can see a pattern of swirls and ridges yours won't match anyone else's the first time you set the lock you let the scanner take a picture of your fingertip every time you then swipe your fingertip on the reader it takes another photo and checks the first to see if they match if they do you're in sometimes electrical currents are used instead of light don't worry they don't give you a shot you might know that electricity is carried around gadgets and machines in channels called circuits they're like roads if there's a gap in the circuit the electricity can't flow just like cars can't cross a broken bridge some scanners use circuits which are completed or filled by the bumps of the fingerprint the pressure activates switches which help the device put together an image of all the ridges and can compare them to its original now the answer is what happens when you first time set the lock on a mobile phone the answer is the first time you set the lock on your mobile phone you let the scanner take a picture of your fingerprint or fingertip every time you then swipe your finger on the reader it takes another photo and checks the first to see if they match if they match it's okay now let's move to the next slide before we start our lesson let's study some vocabulary which will help you to understand our lesson today and let's start with the first word our first word today is the word progress progress look at the picture progress to progress it means to go up or to improve movement to an improved or more developed state or to a forward position okay number two optical optical related to connected or related to with the eyes or sight or connected with use or using light fingerprint look at the picture it's an easy word you can guess the meaning easily here fingerprint the pattern of curved lines on the end of a finger or thumb that is different in every person or uh, a mark left by this pattern ridge a curved line in a finger image twin look at the picture a twin either of two children born to the same mother on the same occasion loop look at the picture loop means the curved shapes made when something long and thin such as a piece of str string 
bends until one part of it nearly touches or crosses another part of it. Forge To make an illegal copy of something in order to deceive. To make something illegal. Secure Secure means to make certain something is protected from danger or risk. Now please open your course book page 56 exercise 1 start here. Let's read the instructions together. Work in pairs. Which of these methods do you think would be more secure and why? There are two main types of fingerprint scanner. Optical scanners take a photograph of the finger. Ca capacitive fingerprint scanners use sensors to detect the ridges of the finger. What do you think? Which one will be uh, more secure than the other and why? Can you tell the answer? Now let's have a look at suggested answer. And let's read. Capacitive fingerprint scanners are more secure. So we decided that the capacitive uh, fingerprint is more secure than the other one. Why? Because they measure the, uh, the actual ridges of the finger and need to have an actual finger placed on them. With an optical scanner, someone could, for example, kidnap a bank official, photograph his finger, and make an image of it, the scanner would not be able to distinguish, distinguish between the image and a real finger. So, the capacitive fingerprint scanners are more secure. Now, please, let's move to exercise number two. Practice. Practice your speed reading. Look at or look for the information you need on the speed search pages 116, 117. Try to be first to complete these statements. Go back to uh, page 116, 117 and try to find the text and complete the sentences. Uh, page 116, you will find th this text, some facts about fingerprints. Try to read this text quickly and uh, I advise you, you don't have to understand every single word in the text. Just you can uh, get the main idea of the text and try to complete the four sentences. You have five minutes and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Number one, the earliest fingerprints were made in, in where? Do you know the answer? In what country? In Egypt. Good. About space years ago. How many years ago? 4,000. Good. Number two, over space percent of people have the loop fingerprint pattern. How many? Or what is the percentage? Good. 60%. Good. Identical twins share or don't share the same fingerprints. What do you think? According to the text, the ac excellent, the actually they don't share their the same fingerprint. Fingerprint evidence uh, convicted the first criminal in the year, in which year? 1905. Okay. Now let's move to exercise number three. In exercise number three, you have to listen to this progress report and complete the checklist in front of you. Write D for job done, I for job in progress, or P for job planned. Okay, are you ready to listen and write the letters? Let's listen. Unit 7, recording 22. Good morning, Bob. I'd like to have a chat about your security project. You've been looking into the different security methods, I believe. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm trying to decide which security system would be best for our offices. Right. So, how are you getting on? Fine. I'm making good progress. Good. Have you made any decisions so far? 
Well, I've uh, looked into passwords, PIN numbers and voice recognition. Uh-huh. And I've decided not to recommend any of those for various reasons. Right. So, what are you looking at now? Well, right now, I'm looking into different methods of fingerprint scanning. <laughs> I didn't know there were different methods. Yes, there's optical scanning, which basically takes a photo of the finger, and there's something called capacitive scanning, which uses electrical current and a capacitor. Okay, and uh, what have you come up with? Well, I've decided against optical scanning because it's too easy to forge a fingerprint. I mean, you could place a photograph of a finger onto the scanning plate instead of an actual finger. Oh, dear, yeah, I <laughs> see what you mean. So, what about the other one, the capacitive scanning? Mm, I, I'm looking into that at this very moment. It looks a bit more secure because it measures the actual ridges, not just a picture of ridges. Good. Oh, by the way, what about this new iris scanning technology? A uh, method of scanning the eye? Have you looked into that yet? Ah, <laughs> no, not yet. That's a big research area, so I'm planning to have a look at that next week. OK, oh, I'm glad it's going well. I'll catch up with you next week. Cheers. Now let's check your answers. Passwords, the first item in the checklist. Passwords. D, job done, or I, job in progress, or P, job for uh, planned. Good. D. Number two, pin numbers. D, voice recognition. D, fingerprint scanning. Excellent. I, in progress. Optical scanning. Done. D, capacitive scanning. I, iris scanning. P. Great. Now, which security systems will Bob not recommend at the end of his research? Can you tell which security systems will Bob not recommend at the end of his research? Great. He will not recommend any of the ones he has researched already. Passwords, pin numbers, voice recognition, or optical scanning. He will not recommend any one of these. Uh, security systems now let's move to exercise number five and let's read the question together what is Bob's answer to the question in exercise one do you remember the, the question in exercise one if you don't in the exercise start here if you don't remember please go back to exercise one and read the question in exercise one have you read it? Okay. Now, after you listen to the report, the progress report, what is Bob's answer to the question in exercise one? Great. The capacitive fingerprint scanner is more secure because it measures the actual ridges of the finger. Whereas with optical scanning, it is too easy to forge a fingerprint. For example, by putting a photo of a fingerprint onto the scanner so the capacitive fingerprint is more secure great and this is the end of our lesson today i hope you enjoyed our lesson today till we meet again in a new english lesson goodbye and good luck